So as you can see, it sits really nicely on a desk, on a table, um, with a nice angle, the full QWERTY. Uh, makes it really easy to type emails, to check out the web with the big screen, watch videos, um, listen to music, anything. Um, the um, other, of course, the other things besides that um, are the characteristics, the GPS, the 32 gigabytes of onboard memory, the, um, the um, memory cards, hot swap, and, and so forth. So on, on the technical level, level, this is a pretty good device. It, it has a lot of features, which is good. But the revolution is not in the features and, and not only in the form factor, but, but in the home screen. So you you both have a phone, right? Yes. It's in your pocket or on the table. It's um, in sleep mode most of the time, 90% of the time. So you take it out of your pocket and you check out your home screen. Usually on the home screen you have the information if you missed a call, if you missed an SMS, if you have a new mail and, and an appointment or something. Data that is pretty static. Yes. It's, it's not static all the time, it, it's dynamic. You can add, remove, for example, if I decide to remove the uh, um, calendar widget, then it's oh, you gone. Can tap for like long press, long press, add content. So if I want AccuWeather, for example, it's going to get in there. It's going to start loading the content, pull the GPS location. So all the integration also with the platform services is there. Um, and now current location 17 degrees, mostly sunny which is pretty much what we can see through the windows because you can add and remove with your fingertip but I mean information is great but we want to engage the people with their device we want to get them use the device to the device to give feedback and so forth so right now the user made the interaction of unlocking the device so the device provides the latest information but the user can also get in the application and get more detailed information and the device is going to provide them. As you can see, we have information six days with the weather. We can also see the uh, um, the calendar view where we can see. So Weber and Time technology allows not only to develop application fast, but it also allows people to integrate with our own services, with our own application, with our own, um, let's say, hardware. Um, in a seamless manner. Of course, we support also both landscape and, and portrait. Um, the uh, the other interesting thing is that, well, let's say you're in a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, you might not want your boss to know that you're on Facebook during that meeting. Okay. <laughs> so you're just gonna, you know, swipe it away mm -hmm. and bring it back. You can swipe both sides, right? Yeah, of course. Ah, a lot better. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So and and then again, I really like the speed. Wow, we seldom see these speeds. On it's it's even device. slower. I mean, it's even slower than it used. I mean, when you spin spin a wheel, it doesn't stop when you remove the finger, right? So anyway, this is the uh, this is one of the key feature. Um, then of course, it's not because you can add them there that you can't access the application straight from the. Uh, application menu. So as you can see here, uh, if we want to take for example Facebook, so now it's asking for the network because it's not um, it's not on the home screen but as you can see so I could log in and, and, and get in there but yep. I'm not going to do that. So all the applications based on web runtime can also be started straight away from the application shell doesn't have. Um, what else? Um, I can show you the browser. Yeah. So the uh, <laughs> so if we get to Symbian dot smashpop dot net. One interesting thing is that as soon as the page starts to load, so right now we're using 3G, so as soon as the page starts to load, the toolbar is going to vanish, because we don't need it anymore. So we can use both the, uh, the Kinetic. Okay, right now it's still loading. Do you have Flash? Flash okay, here we go. Yep. So as you can see, the kinetic scrolling is there. What I like to do is to use the overview. 
so that you can really move in the page easily. Of course we got the zoom, double tapping zooms. So as you can see, big screen, but then again, maximum screen for the website. Yep. And if you want to get back to the controls, you can get it through there. Right now, loading another page. But, uh, yeah. So the overview is pretty fast as well. Mm. So then it gets you where you want. Okay. Yeah, man, Yeah. <laughs>